Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to use string split function on multiple columns in a table. So yesterday I made a video on string split function on, on World Cup winners, football winners. Those who are not watching the video, I will paste the link in the description. Please go and watch the video. By using the cross apply, we can implement the string split function on a, on a particular column. You get the desired result. So what string split is usually do is it split the values into rows and given it a tabular format. So I will again repeat the, this exercise again. Later I will do how to use the string split function on multiple columns. Now I am taking this query into a query and I am selecting the columns ID, country name. I am applying this string split after writing the class apply. Return which column, which column here, here, here of winner, here of winner, comma, and separator here is uh, pipe symbol. When there are multiple values in the column, separator in the, in the string split function, second or here, my separator is the pipe symbol. So I am giving the alias name here. of winner. This is what yesterday we did. So you will get the result like this. So without cross apply we can't uh, use this string split on any particular column. It will throw errors. So cross apply it will join the rows to the, to the functional values to the main table. Now I am creating another table yesterday. That's the same table. I am adding the one more column host of the year. So one country may host more than one times the perform football World Cup. So Uruguay as winner of the 1930-1950 along with the host as well. Italy won four times and it host twice the World Cup. Like that France won twice and it host twice as, as well. So in this case uh, how to split the how to use the string split function by writing the to, um, CTE you can get the desired result. Now I am writing the CTE for both year of winner and host of the year separately. First I am taking the year of winner. Winner is my CTE name as is the keyword and within parentheses you have to write your code and I am taking this entire select id comma country name comma value as same thing as we did in, uh, in this case year of winner value and year of winner and <coughs> additionally I am uh, writing here row number why we wrote the row number we came to know at the end of the video row number whatever is mandatory for analytical functions and then here I am doing the partition on partition on which column? Partition by on ID column. ID column order by order by year of winner. So the value is showing still error. Till it will you write the cross apply along with string function, string split function, it will show remains show as red line. Supply. Again, I'm taking this string split function. Year of winner, cross supply, and you have to write the, your cross supply after the prop class. Yeah. So this is the winner and year of winner. Row number, I'm uh, for row number uh, uh, value. I'm giving giving a RSM, RM. So first city is completed for year of winner. Now I am I am writing the second city. For, for writing the multiple cities, you need not mention every time with class. You just put comma at the end of the city and write 
another name of the city as and again I am taking the whole body again just I am changing the columns here year of winner I already completed now I am writing for host of the year for that I am taking new city name as host now I, I am writing the alias name as host of year Here separator is different. For the year of year winner, it is pipe symbol. Now it is comma symbol. And you have to change the expression also here. Course of the year. So I will complete the two, two cities. Now I am joining the two cities. Select start from winner. Left join post. And I'm giving the address name here A and B. And I'm selecting the ID here, separate columns. ID name B dot country name. Pass the alias name a dot for R, Rn a, a dot Rn is equal to b dot Rn. So it's completed. Now I am running the query again. It shows eight rows. Even if you run this query, it will get we will get 21 rows. See here. Why the country name is change it as a dot country. B yeah, in B yeah, in second column that is uh, in host of the year just out of the eight rows only three countries have hosts as well along with winners for that reason if you put the uh, B dot country name you will get entire null values in B there are only thing is null other than except three that's why I am changing the B to A yeah, and run the query. Yes, now you get the desired result. So, Uruguay host winner is, is twice and host twice. Italy is won the tw um, four times, but it hosts two times, and uh, remaining values are shown as null. Germany has won, the, but the Germany doesn't host the World Cup. As well, Bra Brazil also it won more than five times, but it doesn't host. England also. One there, but not host like that. And France, it will show it is, it is winner for twice and also host for twice. So, this is how you, you know to get the desired result for multiple columns. Now, I am explaining the code here. Notepad first, I first I read the CTE for winner and same. And I am assigning the row number. This row number you have to join at the time of this selection of the statement at the end of the left join you have to um, join the a dot rn to b dot rn if you mention the inner join you cannot get the uh, desired output you will get only hosts and winners those countries who, who host and who win those the data will be get but if you can the left join left join along with the match records it, it also get the unmatched records from left table with, with null value so cross apply separately you have to write the cte for two, two columns and you write the cross apply and string, string split and whose column you have to write the 
um, function that you have to mention the column column name and the separator afterward and later you have to join the two, two cts i will giving the winner winner name as as a and b for winner it's a and for the worst it be and i taking this selected columns in the, in the select class and, uh, and i join the um, on a dot id is equal to b dot id and a dot r number is equal to b dot r number this is very important if, if you miss this uh, from joining condition you cannot get the desired result so this is how you know to get the desired output string split function to get that uh, on multiple columns thanks for watching the video thank you very much